everyone. In today's video, I'm going to be teaching you beginners to learn Megurumi. Um, I'll be teaching you how to make a magic ring, a single crochet, increase and a decrease. These are the importance of a ring bloom Megurumi design. Um, for example, a limit a uh, magic ring would be right here on Ariel's face. It would also be on her arms and the fins. So like everywhere you can see a cat band, that's a magic ring. Um, let me show you how to make a magic ring now. I'm going to show you how to make this in the pink. So first you're going to take a rubber band and you're going to loop it around your hook three times so it has like three loops. Then you're going to take another rubber band and you're going to like loop them all on the rubber band. Then you're going to loop this, like put it back on the hook and then you have to put like loop it. So like you're going to hold this one on your hook like that. Like create a little slip knot. Now you have to go back into the cat band. So you have to go back on all three of the loops. One, two, three. So now you have four on your hook. I'm gonna take another one. Well, so I'm going to do a magic ring of six stitches. Sometimes you need to do five, six, depends on the thing. I'm gonna take another rubber band. And I'm gonna loop it only on the cat band. Leave this on your hook. So now you have this rubber band we just put, and then the one that you had from before. Now you're going to straighten it out. You're going to hold the, this band on your hook, and you're gonna loop those two in the cat band. That's your first stitch on your magic ring. So now we have two done. We have to do four more. We have the back of the cat band again. And then we're gonna do the same thing again. So into the cat band, the three loops. And then we're going to put, hook this up like this. And then the three, three loops again. We're gonna take this one loop and we're gonna go through it again, like that. So now you're gonna have one, two, three. Now we're gonna do three more, so I'm gonna do a bare bands. So I'm gonna put these to the side. And we're going to take the cat band. So now you could just go easily in the cat band because now you could just see it. You just go into that little circle if you can see. Basically, okay. And you're gonna hold this one down with your finger, your thumb. There we go. Okay. And we have two more left to go. And also, you want a like a C clip or an S clip or something to hold the thing, the stitch marker. We're gonna do one more. So I'm just gonna take this C clip. I'm gonna put it here. So basically, that is a magic ring. You're just gonna like straighten it out. Sorry, if you can't see that. Need to focus. There we go. Um, so that's the C-clip basically, uh, just, just, you put the C-clip on here, so hold it. So you have one, two, three, four, five, six stitches on your magic ring. Okay, so now I'm going to be teaching you how to make a single crochet. So you want you to put your hook back into the loop with your C-clip. That's a stitch marker to show you like you're going to the next round. So we're going into the stitch, this one right here. Not this one, because that is not a stitch, that's just the other band like looped around itself. 
So I'm going to grab a rubber band and you're gonna just do it like that. I'm gonna show you what that is basically. Um, normally, if you're switching colors through a design, you would do like a slip stitch. I'll show you that in the next. You would go, so to this single crochet, you would go into the loop, like just the two bands, that one band, like right on your hook. Grab the rubber band and like loop it through that. That's it. I'm doing a different color just to show you. Um, so now you have the three bands and you do basically the same thing how you did it on your magic ring, like where the cat band is. You're just gonna go like that and like that. So after all this, you still have six in the end. I'm gonna go again. That's such a big thing. Like this. And then you're gonna put up on your hook. Oh, I want to pull. So one, two, three. You're gonna go through it again, and you're gonna pull it around one more time. Actually, ten times. You're gonna go only to these two. And you're gonna do it again. And last, one last time. And then you're gonna take your C clip and clip it back on the design. So I'm changing where I am because where I was was a bit too loud. If you can hear me. Um, so in this next part, I'm going to be showing you how to do an increase, which is basically the same thing you can do in for the single crochet. It's just that instead of going one time in this loop, you would go two times. I'll show you that with the green now. I grab one rubber band. I have my thing in the hook in the the C clip is. And you're gonna go into this stitch right here where the yellow starts. Okay. And then you're gonna grab your band. You're gonna loop it normally how you had it. And then and in. Um then you're gonna go back into the same one. So like right next to the green, you're gonna have another one. You're gonna put another green in there. So by the end of the round, this round, you would have You would have 12 stitches, I believe. Because it's six and then double that 12. So that's two right there. I'm just gonna continue like that all the way around, which that is basically an increase. So we're gonna do this in the same thing. Like that. And then we're going to pull it up again. I'm gonna show you one more time and then I'll do the rest. Okay, so we have two in the same stitch. Like that. I'm going to do one more time. I'm going to grab one band. And then I'm going to go back in the same one. And do that again. So now I'm going to come back after I finish. Just go around, so one, two, that's it. Oh, wait, okay. yeah. So now I'm back. Pause if you didn't finish. Um, you're supposed to have 12 stitches one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve on the hook. Uh, you would take the C clip from here and you put it on the other hook. And now I'm going to show you how to do a decrease. There's many different types of decreases, but this is a beginner's tutorial, so I'm going to show you the beginner one that I learned when I was doing my beginner design. You're going to go in your first stitch, like the complete stitch, and then in this stitch. Like so I'm going to first stitch, and don't stop at there, you grab the next stitch. So it's going to go to the I'm going to show you a different type of layer. So like the same type of thing, feels good. And then basically, 
ist der Stecker. Mach. Das ist ein Ding, oder? But this other way, you just grab the first stitch, first thing, and the back, and the next one. It's just like based on preference, honestly. I don't care what I turn it in. I like to do this one more because it goes seamlessly. So I'm just gonna do that until I'm gonna go one. Regular. And then you're going to just tuck it here. If something happens like that, just no, just tuck it. Okay. You know, just pull it. Okay, so now we're going to do this all the way around. I'm gonna do it with you. Basically, um, This is the increase, and that is a decrease. Thank you guys for watching. Please comment, subscribe, like, share, all the YouTube things. And comment down below if you have a suggestion, if you want me to start selling anything. 